Okay, let's continue the discussion of module 3 to 5 of Math 1. Our topic for today will be all about transposition method. What is transposition? Siguro ang alam nating transposition is yung nililipat natin yung pwesto ng ating term from the other side to the other side of the equation, which is... That's okay, which is a shortcut method of transposition, but the real meaning of transposition is the common transposition method is to do the same thing mathematically to both sides of the equation with the aim of bringing like terms together and isolating the variable or the unknown quantity. Ibig sabihin, kung ano yung ginawa natin sa left side ng equation, gagawin rin natin on the right side of the equation with the aim of pagtabihin yung mga similar terms and i-isolate yung ating unknown quantity. Okay, let's try the following examples. Let's use the transposition method. So, number 1, x plus 6 is equals to 4. This is the left side. And the other side will be the right side. And based on the transposition method, we need to isolate the unknown quantity or value, which is x. So, kailangan natin itira si x on the left side of the equation. That means we need to eliminate positive 6. So, how you can do that? Let's rewrite this equation. x plus 6. Ano kaya yung pwede natin gawin dito? para ma-eliminate yung ating positive 6. This is simply subtract 6, which is equals to the right side of the equation, 4. Then, based on the transposition method, this is doing the same thing to both sides of the equation. That means, kung nagdagdag tayo ng negative 6 on the left side of the equation, we need to add also negative 6 to the right side of the equation. Okay, let's simplify this one. x plus 6 minus 6 is 0, which is equals to 4 minus 6 is negative 2. Let's try number 2. x minus 3 is equals to 6. This is the left side. And this is the right side. Again, we need to isolate the unknown value, which is x. That means, in isolating that x, kailangan ma-eliminate si negative 3. Okay, let's rewrite this equation. x minus 3. So, anong pwede natin gawin to eliminate negative 3? Just add 3. Which is equals to the right side of the equation, 6. Since we added positive 3 to the left side of the equation, we need also to add 3 to the right side of this equation. We can now simplify. We have here x minus 3 plus 3 is 0. 6 plus 3 is 9. That means the value of x is equals to 9. Next example, 4x is equals to 20. This is the left side and this is the right side. So, ano yung kailangan natin gawin to isolate x in this left side? We need to eliminate 4. So, how we can eliminate 4? Ang gagawin lang natin is to divide 4x to 4. And again, from the transposition method, this is doing the same thing to both sides of the equation. That means, on the right side of the equation, we also need to divide 4. We can now cancel out 4. Then, we will be having x on the left side of the equation which is equals to the right side, 20 divided 4 is 5. That means the value of x here is positive 5. Next example, x over 5 is equals to 12. In this equation, how will we eliminate 5 in the denominator of x? Simply by multiplying both sides of the equation by that denominator. So multiply 5 here on the left side and multiply here also on the right side. Using distributive law, 5 times x over 5. Again, that is 5 times x over 5, which is equals to 5 times x is 5x 
or over 5. As you can see, 5 divided by 5, that is 1. So, meron na lamang tayong x na matitira. So, x will be equals to, again, distributive law, 12 times 5, that is 60. Let's try another example. 3x plus 4 is equal to 34 minus 2x. This equation, we can use the shortcut method of transposition wherein changing the position of the term that we like to change. So we have here 3x and as you can see, its numerical coefficient is greater than the other term that has the literal coefficient x. And by that, this negative 2x will be transposed to the other side of this equation. So if we are going to rewrite this equation, we will be having 3x. That negative 2x will become positive 2x. Next will be the constant terms. As you can see, we have here the remaining constant term, which is positive 4. So all we need to do is to change its position by simply moving it to the other side of this equation. So we will be having equals to the remaining 34 in the right side. And that positive 4 will become negative 4. So we can now simplify this one. 3x plus 2x is 5x which is equals to 34 minus 4 is 30. So divide both sides by 5 to eliminate its numerical coefficient and doing the same thing to the other side, 5. So let's simplify, cancel, cancel, and we will be having the value of x, which is equals to 30 divided 5 is positive 6. Next example, z minus 3x is equals to y minus x. As you can see, we have here similar terms which are negative 3x and negative x. So we can now move negative 3x to the other side of this equation to make it positive. And since we need to isolate our x here to the right side, we need to move our term that has the literal coefficient y to the other side of this equation. In that case, if we are going to rewrite this, we will be having z. Positive y will become negative y, which is equals to, we have here negative x, which remains on the right side of the equation. Then, this negative 3x will become positive 3x. Okay, let's simplify this one. Z minus y is equals to negative x plus 3x or simply negative 1 plus 3 that is positive 2 then copy the literal coefficient x next thing to do is to eliminate the numerical coefficient x which is 2 so by simply dividing both sides of the equation by positive 2 so let's cancel out the 2 here and we will end up with z minus y all over 2, which is equals to x. And, and the value of x is equals to z minus y all over 2. Next example, x divided by 3 plus 5 is equals to 2 times quantity x minus 5. First thing to do here is to eliminate the denominator 3 by simply multiplying both sides by that denominator 3. Next thing to do is to use distributive law. 3 times x over 3, which is equals to 3x over 3. You can cancel out 3 here since you have here numerator and denominator of 3. And the x will remain as a term. Then you will use distributive law. We have here 3 times x over 3. Again, 3 times x over 3. Which is equals to, you can cancel out 3 here in the numerator and denominator. So you can have x. Next thing to do is to distribute 3 to positive 5. We have here 3 times 5, which is equals to 15. 
So, on the left side of the equation, we will be having x plus 15, which is equals to the right side of the equation. We will distribute 3 times 2, and we will be having 3 times 2, which is equals to 6. And on the right side of the equation, we will be having 6 times quantity x minus 5. Let's simplify this one. x plus 15, which is equals to distributive law, 6 times x, we have 6x. Then we have 6 times negative 5, that is negative 30. Combine similar terms using transposition method. Since we have here 6x, with its similar term x, we will be transposing x to the other side of the same goes with the constant term negative 30. We will transpose negative 30 to the left side of the equation. Writing this equation, we have the remaining positive 15 on the left side. So 15, then we are going to transpose negative 30, that would become positive 30, which is equals to the right side of the equation, we have the remaining 6x on the left side. And that positive x will become negative x. 15 plus 30 is 45, which is equals to 6x minus x is 5x. Again, let's isolate x by simply dividing both sides of the equation by its numerical coefficient, 5. Simplify this one, 45 divide 5 is 9, which is equals to 5x divide 5, that is x. So that means the value of x here is equals to 9. Next example, x over 3 plus x over 4 plus x over 6 is equals to 9. So in this equation, we have two options. The first one is to get all the denominators and multiply it to each side of this equation. The other one is using the least common multiple. First option is to get all the denominators and multiply it to each side of this equation. 3 times 4 times 6. On the other side is also 3 times 4 times 6. Next thing to do is to use distributive law. 3 times 4 times 6 times x over 3. Again, 3 times 4 times 6 times x over 3. As you can see, we can now cancel out 3 here. So the remaining coefficients are 4 times 6 times x, which is equivalent to 24x. Next is to distribute 3 times 4 times 6 to x over 4. 3 times 4 times 6 times x over 4. We can now cancel out 4 here. And the remaining coefficients are 3 times 6 times x, which is equivalent to 18x. Next is to distribute 3 times 4 times 6 to x over 6. Again, 3 times 4 times 6 times x over 6. We can now cancel out 6 here and the remaining coefficients are 3 times 4 times x which is equivalent to 12x. Lastly, we have here 3 times 4 times 6 times 9. Again, 3 times 4 times 6 times 9, that is equivalent to 648. If we are going to rewrite our equation, that would be 24x plus 18x plus 12x, which is equals to 648. 24 plus 18 plus 12, that is 54x, which is equals to 648. We need to isolate x by simply dividing both sides by 54. So, cancel 54. The value of x is equals to positive 12.
The next option is to think of a factor wherein 3, 4, and 6 are all divisible. And that would be positive 12. So we multiply both sides of the equation by positive 12. Using distributive law, 12 times x over 3, again, 12 times x over 3, which is equals to 12 divide 3, that is 4, copy the literal coefficient, x, 4x. x will be 12 times x over 4, again, 12 times x over 4. 12 divided by 4, that is 3 times x, we have 3x. x, 12 times x over 6. Again, 12 times x over 6, which is equals to, we have here 12 divided by 6 is 2 times x, that is 2x. And lastly, we have 12 times 9, that is 12 times 9, which is equals to, which is equals to 108. So if we are going to rewrite our equation, we will be having 4x plus 3x plus 2x, which is equivalent to 108. Let's simplify. 4 plus 3 plus 2, that is 9x, which is equals to 108. And to, to isolate x here, we need to divide both sides of the equations by 9. And in that case, cancel out na yung ating 9 here. And we will be having x is equals to positive 12.